guys it's actually been a couple of days since i picked up the camera and actually vlogged um but that's because i've been having busy days literally work back home by the time i get back it's dark and i'm exhausted so today's one of those days but today's saturday tomorrow sunday then i have monday off and we get to spend the day together i've been walking so much i low-key kind of feel like i've lost a little bit i can even feel it like my thighs but anyways let's not get too excited for that but i just thought i would come and pick up the camera and say hi to you guys i think this is going to be a new vlog because then i'd obviously closed the other one off but whatever we decide to do here you guys oh am i starting to sound australian whatever we decide to do here not here <laughs> whatever we decide to do here um yeah this will run into monday and then i also have thursday and friday off so i might try to do different daily vlogs for those days so that at least you guys get to see different stuff so um just about to complete a quick report that i need to submit but then after that i just want to like google and plan what i can actually do on monday and my two off days next week um yeah we went to the opera house um this evening we just passed by to see it like in night time with the lights on it looked very nice um so yeah that was basically the one thing that i did today and then i also walked to the uh to work in the morning which was nice got my steps in um then what else yeah that was basically my day it's just dark now so there's nothing much to do and i feel like the sun here goes by really 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 quickly like the day goes by like this so yeah whatever i get to do definitely going to that aquarium and apparently i can see kangaroos there and koalas oh my gosh i actually don't even believe it because when i was little like my favorite 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 animal was a koala bear so i'm hoping to see them at the aquarium apparently if they're not sleeping because they um feed on eucalyptus leaves and apparently whatever that is that makes them high makes them sleep all day so yeah um so yeah, i just wanted to come on here and catch up with you guys i'm in my pajamas and my bonnet um yeah been loving sleeping with my bonnets or a silk scarf before i actually put that other pink one just to make sure that my hair is properly wrapped and that it doesn't get dry so yeah I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow or on monday love you good morning just came by the same morning with my crusty self before i get ready for work good job morning hey guys so i am off to work now i guess i'll see you guys later later alligator <laughs> guys don't mind this is going to be covered by my blazer that i'm wearing on top i'll show you guys the outfit before i leave i actually had a late morning or a late start to my day it's currently 20 past one this is the only time i'm leaving because i have basically been so tired um i've hardly had any time to rest so i just told myself you know what i'm just gonna let myself sleep in a bit because it's literally been like a week of working with literally one day off so like early mornings and late evenings with not much time to rest in between so i was just like let me rather have a late start today because i also have an off day on thursday and friday which i can still get to do stuff like I'm not gonna let myself get exhausted um so the perfume i'm using today something that i actually haven't i think i've shown you guys on here but i'm not sure if i've shown you guys um me using it but it's the molten brown it's the jasmine and sun rose i love this i think my favorite scents include like rosy um no jasmine scents in them 
um so i'm wearing like a silk dress with a blazer on i'll show you guys so my plan for today was to obviously sleep in i want to go to the beach one of the days but um i just feel like i need to wake up early for that so i think i'm gonna do that um on thursday or friday so i'm planning to at least wake up early thursday so that i have a full day of doing stuff so today i'm just thinking of going to the museum the national maritime museum that is like opposite my hotel because it looks like something great to do um i've already done the opera house i don't know if i should actually go back and try go inside for like a proper tour which i'll see um but i also want to do the um, zoo so i don't know if i should do the maritime and the um aquarium and zoo today but i also wanted to do the sydney eye but I think the Sydney I would be great with pants on. So maybe I can do that. Because it closes at 6. But both these two close at 4. So I basically can do one hour at the museum. If I leave it in about 10 minutes, half one. I should be able to walk there. I think it's a less than 30 minute walk. Let's see. I haven't even eaten. The only thing I had is a cup of coffee which i made in my room um it says a 13 minute walk from here so if i leave oh guys i feel like i'm spending too much time with australians here um it's a 13 minute walk so hopefully i should be there before two and then if i spend an hour there that's three or less than an hour and then walk back to the zoo which will allow me to quickly go through it in less than an hour maybe and be done by four um if i'm done by four i can actually also walk up to the sydney eye so basically the sydney eye the sydney tower eye enables you to have a 360 view of sydney i wanted to do it for sunset because i definitely think that would be nicer I'm not too sure let me put on my shoes and then we decide because i still need to fit in lunch somewhere because i am hungry i'm starving um i've hardly been eating all three meals uh, yeah le let's decide and then i'll come back and pick you guys up one other thing my room hasn't been made today because i woke up late I forgot to show you these. I should actually stop sharing like the stuff I've been getting from Pick and Pay Clothing. But guys, Secret Socks, it's best to just buy a pack of five. Because let's be honest, these things go missing all the time. It seems like the washing machine always chows them up. And then I've got these beautiful bras with no wires. Like how amazing. I'm not sure if you're like me, but I hate wires. This one has a wire because I just wanted... Um, yeah, I just felt like wearing this one today instead of white. I don't know why. But this one has no wire, which is great. I'll be leaving a link down below for you guys to shop, which you can also use whenever I mention like any pick and pay clothing. It is an affiliate link, so if I do share it, it would be great if you guys could use it because then I would earn like a little commission from what you guys purchase which would be great like an additional way to support the channel so far i think one person has purchased and thank you so much she purchased the trench coat that i shared the other day so mine is a little different to the one on the side but i think it should be very similar and look the same in case you are wanting to buy as well so i'm just wearing my Sambas. I just realized that I shouldn't have packed as much as I packed because that would have allowed me to actually like shop for a couple of things such as I've been wanting the Veja sneakers and they have and also New Balance and like you guys know I've been struggling to get New Balance sneakers because the sizing that they bring in South Africa is that the Sydney Bridge? I think that is it. I can actually see the Sydney Bridge. Only today I realized. 
but yeah um i've just got on this little jersey inside just because i don't want to get cold oops all right get cold so yeah this is what we look like so far let me grab my bag then i'll show you guys what i look like i do feel like with this dress i should have gotten a large it's from sheen but i'll quickly show you guys like the details of my outfit i used my nars foundation today and mixed it with a bit of the black opal because the shade was looking a bit too light um not liking my contour i feel like it's looking too harsh on camera but let's just check it out and see So let's do a quick outfit of the day so i've worn this blazer which i stole from my sister she actually doesn't know that it's in australia i wore it on her birthday went home in it never took it back because i knew i wanted to bring it here so by the time she watches this she'll be like okay you stole my blazer it made it all the way to australia without her knowing and then um i wore this satin dress from um, sheen and then I've paired it with my sambas and my low-key Bottega Alma baby bag so yeah just gonna roll up the sleeves and then my watch also the strap is from sheen my earrings are these cute little ones that I replaced from poetry love them and then my necklace is Lovisa and then yeah my beauty is from mama dodo as always so yeah i'm um, just gonna put some hand cream and then we can get out of here just spray a bit more i think we're good to go mm -hmm. I think it goes it's gonna go around now. I actually wanna see it. The gates are going. That's where I'm going. directions it tells you if you can take a train whether the place you're going to is only a walking distance and it's called city mapper and it's always accurate and yeah i haven't gotten lost yet while using it as you can see i'm four minutes away so it just keeps tracking where i've actually walked so yeah i'm actually my hotel's on the other side 
So I was like, you know what? This is a great day for me to take a walk and be on the other side and see what it's all about. So let's go find something to eat. Maybe after doing the tour and then um yeah the sun is out i'm feeling quite hot i shouldn't have put on the jersey on the inside but i was just trying to be safe it's a bit lost now like whether i should be walking down or straight let me try take this route and see where it takes me because i mean the museum is here i can see it but this is telling me to walk the other way this is the annoying thing about being alone. Like when you get lost, you get lost alone. And you don't really know like where to ask. But let's try to figure it out. Okay, so here I don't know if I wanna go eat first. Because it looks like a lot of walking. This is the ship. Let's see. So I got my map and now I am walking to see the so it's not here. This is my map. After that whole submarine dramatically accelerating how quickly this battle unfolds. Lexington's radar picks up incoming Japanese aircraft and flashes stay and watch the videos because I want to go through as many ships as I can and apparently it's like 25 minutes for one ship and I'm going to try to see the submarine so let's go so I'm going in the submarine first so scary guys is it something gate something gate marine gate I went missing it's, gi it's giving that definitely and the fact that we have to go backwards is what's stressing me oh my god this is guys Sigu Submarine Bueo Hey Sazi Sazi Enzi Zinto Zabelum guys but anyways I'm in a submarine Loki going to see the Titanic. I'm joking. That is a bad joke. Bad, bad joke. But I'm in here. Um, so it shows you like stuff on here. I don't know what all of the stuff is for. They have fans in here because I'm sure it's pretty hot. And then they have the suit. The suit in here. I'm guessing this is what they wear. So let's keep going. So, Zonga and Alana. I'm guessing the little guys. Who are you to Kanya would be so happy being with I will come to me da Beba la la lana these are the beds um so yeah let's go it's like very tight spaces I wonder what's this No smoking in here. Like I'm trying to figure out if this was someone's sleeping space. Like how do you sleep on here? And then there's like a chill spot. I guess they used to play games here. Like you can't gain weight in here. Oh. Nike, she. Here's the kitchen. 
This is what I'm guessing they made all their food and oh, stuff. I don't even know how I'm gonna get through there. Worst day to wear a dress. Because I'm going through all these tight spaces and having to like jump through. Ooh. This is like another room. Ah, oh, it's a suit and stuff. Oh. Yeah, maybe Captain. Oh. <laughs> I wonder like how it would be for someone who's tall because I'm already at the top. I'm already at the top. So if you're taller, I don't know how that works for you. So you need, need to look through the periscope so nobody will look through the wall. Yeah, tell us. Yeah, you're sore. The top is the way to the fan. And then here. Ah. I don't know if you guys can see. <coughs> that looks cool. So you've got to find the fire button. <laughs> Let's see if it works. No, <laughs> like all these buttons and stuff. That's crazy. <laughs> the fact that with this, you'd be like underwater. Here's the toilet. So can I look through here? Toilet. Oh, I definitely want to take a video. Here's another one. Don't know what's going on. So, yeah, just going to tell people on my Instagram. We are in a submarine. So, these are like the toilets. I don't know how it worked for people who are really tall. Mm. This is all you can do with people who don't have any English. All you can do is point that out and let them move on. Oh, it's just a book. It's just a book. It's just a book. It's just a book. I was gonna go ask him like how life was for people who are really tall in here because I mean this is the toilet and like it's not really tall um, and then I don't know if this is the shower it's crazy like look guys I'm having to go through these little and jump oh. oh worst day to wear a dress okay what is all of this Ooh, you don't, definitely don't want to drop anything in here and there's like fans and just it gets pretty hot in here so now I ask myself Ooh, like the people that used to spend whatever amount of time in here how did they do it because they surely didn't have fans lower motor room okay we're back out this is not my type of thing because i'm so scared of like heights and especially like with water I don't know how I'm doing this. Even the vlogging part is not making sense to me. <sighs> but trying to be a tourist. So we're basically in the submarine. You can see. And now we're going to the vampire. This is what it looks like. Well, this is what it's all about. So, this is the one I specifically wanted to see because I could see it from my hotel room. So, I'm guessing here you just walk around. Okay. So, 
Like, where do we start? Ooh, where do we start? Guys, you're gonna laugh at me this entire vlog. And the worst part is that I was laughing. Should I follow everyone or? I was laughing with my mom saying, those people are gonna follow everyone, guys. I'm not gonna be that type of person that goes somewhere on their own. I was laughing with my mom saying, I don't wanna be those type of people that go away and come back with an accent. And now look, where do we start? Okay. Okay. We're just gonna follow everyone. Where does this lead to? Let's see. Wheelhouse. So, the wheel which steers the ship was located here in the interior part of the ship, but is rather able to attack the bridge. How does it regard it? Okay. Which is this here? Hot day. Okay, giving Titanic. I guess this was like the captain's chill spot. Is that Queen Elizabeth? Is that Queen Elizabeth then? Prince. Long man. <laughs> so like, yeah, there's a picture of Queen Elizabeth, Lilibet. So it's definitely giving like Titanic. I'm gonna keep saying that. I doubt they had these type of like crockery back then because it looks way too modern. So I'm guessing this is where they served the like, food and stuff. But this looks way too modern. I think they just put it here. Like just as decorative pieces. Where else does it go? Does it go this way? Let's see. Just discovering on my own. A couple of more minutes to get to the other one. And the people that work here are so nice, they're like, take as many pictures as you want, take as many videos, and I'm just like, yes, you are the type of people I need in my life. So this is the view from the other side. Um, yeah, just a lot of tall buildings. This must look pretty at night. So I think I might stay here till evening time before I go back to the hotel. There is the Sydney Tower Eye that I was telling you guys about. Oh, yeah, so I might try and see if I will still have time to get like a 360 view but you can see it from here so it's basically behind my hotel which is not too far which is great so yeah Make sure to go through the other side. I might move on to the next ship now. Oh. 
Did like eye tests. That's cool. I'm so scared. Why am I in here alone? Be my last one for today, and then I can come see the others on another day. This is one of those pirates of the Caribbean looking ships. There's a lot going on, a lot of ropes. Just so that's how you come down with that rope on your right. <laughs> and yeah, these you feel that are going up. That will take you up to where the officers and gentlemen. They would put the food in those string bags, put it in the hot water, mm -hmm. and the food mainly was like this pickled cabbage, pickled pork, or pickled beef. Mm -hmm. That was the uh, main food. Occasionally they could get fresh meat, they could get fresh seafood if they yeah. caught it. So it was this app. But it was mainly uh, pickled beef and pickled pork. Okay. So this is where they would eat, guys. <laughs> that's where the that's the apparatus where they cooked all the food for the ninety six odd people that were on the ninety six on the boat. They would light a fire under there, hot breakfast, hot lunch. They would put the fire out after lunch. I think they're lunch. telling Glambile food. On the original endeavour, they wouldn't like to have a no, fire no, no, longer go. than necessary. Yeah. And if the weather was real rough, they wouldn't even light the fire because it was too too dangerous. Yeah. It had a little bit of a spit here where they could cook a small animal or a large fish. The cabins, they they wouldn't have to come down here to sleep. We just hang that there for display. Yeah. On the original endeavour, that would have been full of barrels of food and other other containers of water and what have you on this boat it's got a lot of modern conditions that's why we don't let you go down there we just want you to see the old what it was like in 1770. is this the one they still use the young endeavor this this particular boat does go on cruises from time to time oh, it's, it's, a, it's a fully operational boat the same as the dufkan over there that little one yeah and this one's got an engine in it so if you see this sailing in in a harbour somewhere with sails up, they must have the engine running. Yeah, right. Because it gives them better control over the boat. Yeah. So, and, and the same with the Dufkin over there, it's got engines in it. What's the timber that they use? They use Aussie timber or pommy stuff? Uh, this, this was probably all Aussie timber. This was this particular boat was built in Fremantle, so a lot of Western Australian timber, um, Oregon and Teak and, right. and, was and that Harry Pine. 1980 or something. Yeah, it was finished in the 1990s. Yeah, yeah Ripper. That's awesome. Yeah. Different way of living. Yep. So as you go through, guys, stay low and go through. Yeah, oh yeah, cat, cat and nine, nine tails. Cat and nine tails. Oh. 
that's an example of, of uh, the punishment. That's good. People got punished because they didn't like the the food in uh, in the islands when they got there. A couple of them uh, tried to run away. Tried to run away and live yeah. with their newfound girlfriends, which I reckon we should probably is a bit understandable for young guys. I know a couple of blokes who probably did this, eh? Yeah. <laughs> But as you go through there, stay low, yeah. go past the fire extinguisher, and there's a ladder going up. Uh, Thanks for that. Okay, guys. Thank you. Imagine being six four, just little like this. No, we're having to go down like this. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. 1800. <laughs> probably got a bit of better life before the summer. Yeah, probably. I'm trying to go through here. Oh, and then there's like a little window there. Look at this little door here. So the person that slept here, the people that slept here, got woken up very early. We are on the other side. It's actually closing quite a bit. I think I feel like I've shown you guys this view more than enough. So. Let us go grab some food. The lighthouse. I'm not gonna go into the museum. I don't think I need to see the race, to be honest. Um, I saw the. This is the James. Which one's that one? I think it's closed now. I really don't need to. I feel like you guys saw enough ships. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm kind of doing like boyish stuff but we'll figure it out as we go we were also very tired today so i think that's why but at least we got to do something about day so let's go to the museum and see I'll just take this i'm pretty sure if you pause the video and try scan the qr codes maybe it should work so let's take it nice and slow and we'll see if it actually works if you try scan it then you can read about it but yeah, there's the submarine that I was in actually. This black thing here. There's a submarine. And then we looked into a little hole that allowed us to see the Sydney Tower Eye. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it the London Eye. Surely I need to visit London. Are you? the bay is too big. now okay let's rather read this time instead of just going through i 
1902 South Australian Naval Forces What does it say? Okay, I want to read this I don't know what the South African part is of the sunset but it closed at six so on oh okay guys say hi to tandy say hi you and sydney are you doing a virtual walk with me oh they can't hear you actually because i have my airpods on so we're heading back home in a golden hour the sun here goes down so quickly it's crazy before you know it like the sun is down uncle want to know my airpods and my earphones let me vlog myself where's the lights actually where's the, the sun is going that way so the light is reflecting okay They're wanting to see. It's 
Um, I tried to go eat at that place. I didn't really like the noodles and I didn't really vlog for you guys because it was like a casino so I wasn't too sure if I should be having my camera out. But now I'm walking to my hotel. I think I need to rest my feet a little bit. I might come out, I might not because the restaurants here are closed very early. So I don't want to be eating something now. I might just order something light before I sleep for like dinner because I didn't eat anything. But yeah, it was just a day spent close to the hotel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go back and wash my hair now and prepare for the week. I can actually, but even if I walk down here, like there's nothing to see. I'm thinking of walking down there, but like there's nothing to see. I think it's just restaurants. the koala bears so it's basically on that side of the ship so you guys can't really see now because the sun's setting on that side but i went into this big one walked around went into the submarine and went into the other one Oop, what is this how nice does the moon look I think I'm done working for the day. I am exhausted and I am going to walk to my hotel now and rest because tomorrow is still another day. Um, yeah, I don't want to exhaust myself too much. Right now, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just walking, but I need to get to the other side okay, I think I can go up here yeah I think I can go up these stairs hopefully it gets me to the hotel on the other side Like the sun goes down so quickly. By the time I get into my room, I'm doubting like golden hour is done. Because alright, I'm basically crossing this bridge to get onto the other side and the hotel is there. I do anything you want me to do Timbani 
I've ordered this again because it seems to be the only meal that I've enjoyed since in here. I'm actually watching Zizi's vlog. But yeah, um, I was too lazy to walk out and go have a meal. So I was just like, I'm gonna order room service. I'm not feeling too good as well. So I'm actually gonna eat take a shower i was thinking i'd wash my hair but i think i'll take a rain check i'll just sleep with the clippings on so that i can sleep like 20 minutes longer tomorrow morning um but yeah i'm not liking the fact that i'm not eating too well ever since i'm here but yeah the time maybe you're not the light you will be my wife and we'll get it right don't cast last last now everybody go jump break fast have to say bye bye yo bye bye yo to the love of my life my ayo don't cry yo i need people and shadow i need people and shadow i need people and shadow So I'm about to go wash my face now and get into bed because I'm tired. Um, yeah, I think my body's just exhausted now because I'm not even interested with like exploring. I feel like today that was like the closest thing to go see, but I think my body's just tired. I'm not even going to remove these because I don't want to have to wake up too early tomorrow. I'm just gonna like my clippings are are clean at least because I washed them last night, so they're nice and fresh. The only thing I need to refresh is my hair, but at the moment I'm really really exhausted. Like what a wow. So yeah, just wanted to come on here and say good night. I will see you guys tomorrow. I think pick you guys up tomorrow. I really like my makeup today. It really lasts when I'm not working, but I'm guessing it's because I'm not like walking too much and sweating. Whereas when I'm working, I get oily. I hope it lasts tomorrow. <laughs> Secret safe, safe with your shoes.